Today I'll be calling cable. My name is Wilkar Meyer and I'm your Elliott Wave Analyst, reviewing what has been and predicting what is likely to be in cable price action. So you can see since the last video didn't exactly come to fruition, <laughs> my prediction, I was a little bit early. It looks like I was trying to call it over here where you see the, uh, what do you call it, the arrow and the fifth wave and I think that I was probably a little bit premature that was probably the third of the fifth so the fifth wave most likely ends here uh, the only way that that would not be the case if is if that was right the fifth wave did end here we had an A wave up a B wave down and then the C wave and we're gonna have a very shallow second wave um, I don't think that's gonna be the case <laughs> I think that this is the bottom of the fifth. Uh, this, to me, could probably be counted as five waves up to here. You've got a first wave, a second wave, a third wave, a triangle, fourth wave, and a fifth wave. And since it's made the five waves up, it uh, has made A down. B up and we're going to get C down. I think a good place to go long would be where I have my limit at 154.03 and I think a good place to take profit is likely to be 1.5570. Okay. Uh, one of the mistakes that I made on the last video was I tried to call the trend over before it had broken the channel. So you see here I've got the channel. I've got two and four connected move that parallel down to the terminus of three that creates the down wave channel as you can see I was going to draw an up wave channel only this movement never materialized we did not break the red upper trend line usually a break of the channel signals uh, directional change so meaning that this is a first wave breaking the channel in the long direction would signal that we had the beginning of a second wave and I think that's what we have right now. I think the Dow is going to have, you know, a sideways to then up next day or two. I think the Dow is going to get to at least 15.1. I think the dollar is going to do a bit of a retrace in the short direction. And I think all of that is going to enable the pound to continue to move long, at least to the 155.70 and perhaps as far as my retrace target. So I think uh, taking a trade here at 154.03 will enable us to get a two to one ratio. Obviously my stop loss is right here down at the bottom, uh, 1.5342. If it makes a new low, that means my count's wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my loss and uh, trade it short, probably just flip it. So <clears throat> we'll have to see how that all works out. But uh, lesson learned, when you have rules, follow them. Because if you don't, uh, what's the point of having them? I should have waited for a break of the channel to call the trend or that that wave at that degree over. I still think the trend is in place for the long term, but we're going to get a bounce here. And uh, if you don't like playing corrections, I would wait until it gets up to about 155.70 and then go ahead and play it short with your out right here at a uh, new high for the previous peak or which would be 157.37. That's today's call. I hope you'll join me again for tomorrow's call.